Well, on Friday, we met Jose Gomez, uh, Gina Tunley and Julia Stroud. Following the show, they each went off to have cosmetic surgery, and it is now time to see the results. So, first up, it's Jose Gomez, and if you are a bit squeamish, then look away now. On my way to the surgery, um, not nervous about it at all. Um, I know the doctors are really good. After a consultation with the nurse, Jose is ready for his procedure. First, one of the surgeons fills for and marks the underlying muscle. These marks help the surgeon know which fatty areas to remove. He marks a V-shape pointing towards the groin. This will achieve that characteristic athletic look. Small incisions are made so local anaesthetic can be inserted under the skin. Jose will remain awake for the entire procedure, although he will be slightly sedated. Ultrasound rods are then inserted into the incisions. The ultrasound liquefies the fat. The fat is then removed with suction. The surgeons sculpture the fat underneath the skin so that the shape of the underlying muscle becomes more prominent. In total, around two and a half kilos of fat is removed from Jose's stomach and chest area. Within minutes of the surgeons completing the procedure, Jose comes round. How are you? Okay. Brilliant. It's an instant result. Jose has a six pack. He might be tired, but he's very happy. Uh, wow, and starving. <laughs> That's on my toast. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you decide to do it? Um, obviously the look, uh, and I guess it's just sort of the the, you know, the emptiness to, to get that kickstart. I do a lot of sport, lead a healthy lifestyle, but I'm just not going to spend three or four hours a day in the gym uh, to actually get that uh, that six pack. And uh, and now uh, a couple of days later, how do you feel? I feel brilliant. I mean, genuinely, I'm not on any painkillers. Um, you know, all I've got is some of the the tube cylinder for the drainage, and that's the only real uh, discomfort. But I've even started eating a bit healthier. You know, you just it starts to to give you that uh, desire to treat yourself a little bit better. Well, this I mean, this can sort of change the other way just as quick, can't it? I mean, if you put on sort of more than a stone, then it, it will it will go back. Well, it, it comes back, but it won't come back in the same places because the fat cells have been removed permanently. So, you, so actually, it is it is pretty. It is, and I think the big thing is that it actually want, it gives you a bigger desire to change the way you're living. So well, Doctor uh, yeah. Doctor Mike Cummings is the, is the is the man who did the procedure, and uh, and it, it, so how how permanent is this? Well, it is permanent. I mean, fat cells don't grow after sixteen, seventeen, so it's more or less permanent. So you obviously, I have to get it right. I yeah. have to get the you know the fat sculpted properly, otherwise it's going to be permanently there, and if it's not done right, then we are going to have a permanent problem. Yeah. So there's a lot of skill, really, I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, you know, to get it sort of spot on, a lot of practice, but no, it's there. And you're not under a general anaesthetic? No, it's done under local anaesthetic. Some patients like to be sort of sedated, so it's like a sort of twilight mm -hmm. sedation. If you get the can, just the sort of prodding in, the, and the movement of the instruments can be a little bit off-putting, mm. but it's done under local. Um, but as you say, if you put on some weight, um, you can put on about half a stone to a stone without it looking any different. Um, you then, if, if you carry on putting on weight, it would just look, a bit, it would look like a rounded six-pack, really. Um, so, you know, you need to be a little bit careful. Um, but a stone's a lot of it weight put on. It is a remarkable difference. Are you not holding yes, your yes, stomach in there? You're not sucking no, it out? No, I'm pushing it out. I was pushing out on, on both the shots. It's really? It's quite swollen, yeah. I mean, you can see that, well, it doesn't look, they're still quite swollen yes, on, on, the on the sides. So it's that's only, only going to get more in. defined, isn't it, actually? It's going to, over the next three or four weeks, up to six weeks, it's just going to get better and better. You know? I am very, very... Is there an age that? limit to, uh, to, to the, the... Well, there's no age limit, but we are, you know, we are, we are sort of... You know, it's the skin that's important. If there's a, if there's a lot of loose skin yeah. and the skin's not going to sit back on the muscle, it's obviously going to interfere with the overall results, yeah. Mm. So but good... No, it's, a good surgery to have if you lead a pretty active lifestyle to begin with, and it's just that Absolutely. last little. Absolutely, we're bit. not. You know, I'm not saying this is a substitute for sort of you know for gym or for or for exercise and a healthy yeah. diet. You know, with a third rung down, so sort of make sure you get your exercise, you're healthy, the diet. Of course. And then if you can't get those end results, I'm really happy to help. But, yeah. So. And so long as you've got nine grand. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> that helps. It's slightly too. cheaper. It's quite an expensive <laughs> procedure. Yeah. It's anywhere between four and nine. Okay. But I guess the big thing as well is you really want to be well looked after. And I think it came across in the VT was that going there, I was so relaxed, I was so well looked after at the private clinic. Everyone there was fantastic. Yeah. The doctors, the nurses, well, also, so it was actually uh, enjoyable. For, for, for every procedure we're, we're discussing here, aftercare is enormously Absolutely. important. Yeah, making sure that you're being checked afterwards.